Well, hi, everyone, and greetings from northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy, your favorite old guy of science. Today, I want to just make a quick presentation. Uh, many times you'll hear flat earthers say we want to see an actual picture of the rotation of the Earth from space. Well, here you go. Let's talk about it a little bit. Let me introduce you to the Galileo Space Probe. This is a Jupiter probe launched by NASA in 1989. Uh, there's a very nice wiki page on it that gives you all of the information that you could ever possibly want from it, including all of the instruments that were on board and what it was designed to measure. But there was a rather interesting feature of this probe, and that is the way that it was launched to Jupiter. Now, in October of 1989, the Galileo space probe launched from the space shuttle Atlantis into low Earth orbit. It then fired its rockets, and it took a rather interesting route to get to Jupiter. So, as you can see, it left Earth orbit and did a flyby of Venus, and then came past Earth one more time before yeeting its way out to Jupiter. The purpose of this was to do what's called a gravity assist and increase the velocity of the spacecraft. However, during this first flyby in December of 1990, a rather interesting thing occurred. Specifically, as it approached the Earth from the sun side of its orbit, it took approximately 3,600 images of Earth from a very similar angle. So basically, we can line up the Earth on all 3,600 of those images. That allows us to actually do an animation by combining those images of the Earth's rotation, the first time it was ever done to this level of detail. Let's go ahead and see those. Now we're cooking. This is sped up 600 times. You're actually starting to see a little bit of rotation. However, you're not seeing an awful lot of change in the clouds and weather patterns, but if you look very carefully, you're starting to pick it up just a little bit. But you have to watch it kind of carefully. Now this is sped up 3,600 times, and you can definitely not only see very clear ro rotation, you can see the specular highlights, and you can actually see some changing in the weather patterns. Notice that the clip is relatively short because it only had about one day to take these images. So you're actually just seeing a few hours of imaging here. It doesn't look like it's quite half a rotation, so it's probably somewhat less than 12 hours. But flat earthers wanted to see the Earth rotating from space? There you go. Tell them Dr. Bob sent you. So this is Bob the Science Guy. Thank you very much for stopping by. Make sure you give me a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.